just to say, you just never know what's going to happen. When you pull together people, and we really put so much in thought, I really meant it when I said each one of you has been hand-picked in order to try to have a conversation that would do just what my fondest dreams had been for what we might um, accomplish here. And I even wondered when I was going to cry, which was during the lunchtime. You just never know what is going to move you, although Sheena's conversation about the, uh, the guy who had come out and standing up for the coalitions and claiming that it's not a coalition, that it's not them over there and us over here, it's all us over here, it's just, so profound, and I just, um, before I introduce the last panel, uh, which is our round table, um, I just want to thank you all again for um, accepting the invitation to think about switch points and to think about stories in all the ways that, that we have. Um, so we have our last panel is our round table. It's both, it was meant to be a pivot from the last two, or first two, um, traveling conferences on race, sex, and sexuality. First at Santa Clara, um, Stephanie Wildman was the one who was in charge of that, working also with John Powell and Mark Spindleman, then to Ohio State with Mark Spindleman at the helm, and then now with us. After us, it goes to St. Louis, to Washington University in St. Louis. Laura Rosenberg was supposed to be on the panel, but she became ill and was not able to come, but now we're going to have it on video. So. Sign your consent form so we can tell her what all we've been up to. Um, and then after that, there are rumblings about it going to Minnesota. So if you're interested in being part of this, I have to say it's been wonderful for our community in building this. And it's um, tremendously exciting. And I have a feeling it'll be wonderful for our students. It seems like this domestic worker protection would be a natural thing for students to get involved with next year. Um, so here's our round table where we have a pivot from the past with Mark Spinnelman, who can speak to how this situates within the past two conferences and, and larger issues based on his own scholarship. He's a scholar of both sex and death um, and, and uh, Ohio State Law School and has done really provocative work on AIDS, HIV, and other issues. So, um, so he will be um, participating in, in the in that um, format. Um, we have Frank Valdez, which it says in your bio that you're, you've been active in LACRIT. I think of you as a founder of LACRIT. That's Frank Valdez. Well, that's humility. Mu that's humility. They're not mutually <laughs> exclusive. Right. He's claiming he's not a founder, but I'm going to tag him with it. That Frank Valdez, in many ways, has been a backbone of LACRIT. And this conference, in many ways, the Traveling Carousel Conference, in many ways, has grown out of LACRIT. LACRIT's been meeting for, what, 10 years? 16. 16, yeah. sweet 16. It's having its sweet 16 party. Continue. And, and this, in many ways, is a, is a localized articulation of many of the issues that the LACRIT scholars have been um, uh, brilliantly developing for 16 years now. He's a professor at the University of Miami Law School, um, and we'll be bringing that, that overall vision and expertise to his comments. Then we have Berta Fernandez Tyrol, who is at um, University of Florida Law School, um, also a scholar of tremendous stature on um, race and sex and sexuality, um, and so will can, can similarly bring the larger picture, um, and in addition, we welcome your thoughts. We have until um, 4.30 when, as I say, the, the uh, drinking lamp will be lit. <laughs>